For this video, I just wanted to give a quick introduction to Doppler imaging as it pertains to ultrasound. And this is a picture of Christian Doppler. He is the physicist who uh, identified how moving objects can change the frequency of sound. And that property is what we exploit when we're trying to create images. So if you're not familiar with the Doppler concept, this is the same concept as um, when you hear a fire engine or a car coming towards you and it sounds like the pitch of the sound that you're hearing is getting higher and higher and then as the car passes you the pitch starts to become lower and lower like you can hear in this example The reason for that is if you think back to this slide that we talked about in the earlier set of videos, that when something is coming towards you, these regions of compression are accentuated. So that makes the frequency higher. Whereas if something is going away from you and the, the thing that's creating the sound is, is moving away, then you have areas where you have more uh, pronounced rarefaction. So the frequency is decreased after that. For the Doppler shift in medical imaging, though, we're relying on shifting the sound frequency of the echo that we send out uh, and using that to see if anything within our field of view is moving. And so this is a color Doppler image. What color Doppler does is it uh, assigns a particular color value to things that are moving away from the transducer and another color value to the uh, things that are moving towards the transducer. So you can see over here if we look at the scale for this particular image the blue colors are signifying things that are moving in the positive direction which is defined as moving towards the transducer whereas the red and orange uh, colors here are depicting the blood flow that's moving away from the transducer in this particular image. And one of the first things that you have to look at to determine whether things are moving towards or away from the transducer is the direction that the box is steered. And so you have your grayscale image here, but the uh, color Doppler box is demonstrated by this white line here. And you can see by this edge that it's actually steered to the left of our image here. What that means is if you have blood flow in this patient's carotid, it's going towards their head down this way which is away from the transducer and therefore it's encoded in red and orange. You can see there's a little bit of a venous signal here. This is coming back from the patient's head towards their feet. It's coming towards the slant of the transducer and so that's going to be listed here in blue. And the relative color values here are assigned to the image based on the velocity of flow within it. So you can see that if there's an area of increased velocity as there is here after this stenosis, you can see that there's a higher velocity here than there was in the vessel coming in because it's a brighter color here. When we look at the spectral Doppler imaging, instead of having the box, we have this line here. So this line here is showing us the beam line. This is the line that the ultrasound transducer is sending out the Doppler interrogation beam in. And it's only listening for echoes that are coming back around this time encoding because this is called the sample gate. So you can see here that the technologist placed the sample gate right in the middle of the carotid artery. The other thing is these two little whiskers on the side. Those are your angle correction. So you should always see the angle correction marks parallel to the flow or parallel to the walls of the blood vessel if you can see them. And so you can see here this is another carotid. The patient's feet are on the, this side of the image. The patient's head is over on this side of the image. If you have blood flow that's moving from their head to their feet, that's going to be moving towards this vector right here. And therefore that flow will be represented above the baseline as a positive deviation. And the angle correction is important so that you can measure an accurate velocity. So in the prior example with the spectral Doppler, the beam line that we were interrogating on was steered to the right. And I think that's the one that's most intuitive for people. But you can see here in this example, the beam line is steered to the left. And so what has to happen at that point in time is that for our 
waveform to be represented above the baseline, there has to be some kind of inversion. And so one thing that you want to notice uh, with different ultrasound machines is how they represent inversion. So you can see here that the negative numbers are above the baseline and on this particular machine there's a small little indication over here that it says that it's inverted. This tells you that the blood flow is actually moving away from the transducer even though it's being represented as above the baseline uh, on the spectrum. I'd like to conclude our short session on introduction to Doppler where we talked about uh, color and spectral Doppler imaging and how you can figure out which direction the blood flow is moving.